But what I really wanted to show you, um, as you may know with the NASA units, they've got a barometer inside to maintain uh, altitude. And the, uh, the more you can protect or shield that barometer against wind or um, propeller wash, the more accurate it's going to be. So uh, basically what I've done, I've got some of this uh, felt, which is just from a craft shop, and it's um, air can flow through it fairly quickly, but if you blow on it, like that, you won't actually get any wind on the other side. So essentially what I've done is I've just wrapped the entire flight control board in um, this felt and just use a cable tie on either end just to uh, make sure that um, there's no chance of any prop wash or anything getting in just on both sides and then just use a little bit of double sided tape to take down the sides there. So uh, yeah, I mean air can breathe through to the flight control unit quite easily without any real restriction but uh, it's just protected enough against the, um, the propeller wash that uh, it flies really accurately as you'll see in the, the next part of the, this video. Thanks for watching. This is the uh, X650 flying and it's in uh, attitude mode with altitude hold uh, working. I've just got the throttle stick set at the mid position and all I'm doing is making minor corrections to the roll and the pitch but I'm not touching the throttle. You'll see just how accurately it's holding its position. It's not deviating by more than uh, a few centimetres up and down. So this uh, felt around the flight control unit is really making an improvement to the uh, altitude hold capability. Okay, and uh, as you can see, it's uh, quite responsive. I bumped the throttle a little bit then, but uh, otherwise it's uh, flying really well. Okay, thanks for watching.